So we know that in a nuclear reaction, the mass of the reactant is slightly higher than that of the product. And this difference in mass is what we call we call the mass defect. And we've gotten to know that the mass defect relates to the energy produced using Einstein's famous equation. So you can say that, of course, in a nuclear reaction, the mass of the reactant, some of the reactant, is converted to energy. And so you have, you can actually calculate how much of energy a certain mass will produce in a nuclear reaction. So it is correct to say that mass is converted to energy in a nuclear reaction. And also we know that the law of conservation of mass says that in a reaction, the total mass of the reactant is equivalent to the total mass of the product. So there is no change. Matter is neither created nor destroyed. And so the mass is supposed to be the same. So in a nuclear reaction, what occurs is What happens is you have the total mass of the substances involved in a reaction not changing. So in a nuclear reaction, of course, you would debate that we have mass converted to energy. But in totality, what is happening is the sum of mass and energy is always conserved in a nuclear reaction. And thus... We can testify using Einstein's equation. And so the total amount of mass and energy together does not change in a nuclear reaction. And so that is also true that students who were saying that mass is conserved was also correct.